Tonight, the family and attorney of Justin Johnson are talking about the 16-year-old's death. And they are saying a popular game called Senior Assassin may have played a role in the death of the Central Dauphin High School students. Sarah Wilson was at a news conference about this. She joins us now. Sarah. Alicia Valerie, lawyer Nick Johnson, who is not related to the family, says he and the Johnsons are working with police to try to figure out what led up to Justin's death. He died Friday, just days before his 17th birthday. The attorney laying out a timeline for us, notably calling this targeted against Justin. He says the three teens came up to Johnson's front door multiple times that Friday evening. Justin originally told them he wasn't home, but ended up going outside after the teen said they could see Justin through the window. Nick Johnson then telling us that Justin walks over to one of the cars across the street and that's when someone jumps out at him and starts chasing him, yelling racially insensitive language. It's our belief that when Justin saw this person jump out and start to run towards him, there was something in his hand that Justin saw as a threat. Went back inside, called his dad and told him he was having trouble breathing. By the time his dad got home, though, unfortunately, it was too late. The attorney, Nick Johnson, says it may have been a game called Assassin, which is when teens use water guns to eliminate targets, usually students. Our hope is that this is not an open and shut case. There are too many questions out there that need to be answered, uh, not just for Mr. Johnson and his family, but for the community on a whole. The attorney says the security footage and Justin's cell phone have been turned over to police. Now, the coroner has ruled Justin's death was caused by complications from sickle cell disease, cardiomyopathy, that is a heart disorder. The uh, coroner says that was also another significant condition. Alicia. Sarah, thanks so much for the update.